Face Death Presentation. On our way to Ross County, Christy and I speculate on what we will encounter. Little did we know what Ross County had in store for us, but that's where the hunt begins. As we trek across Highland County on our way to our first case, Forgotten Spirits Haunted Ross County, we prepare ourselves for the mystery that lies before us. Good thing for it's signs. Crazy. I knew there would be signs. So, yep, here's Adina Road right here, honey. <laughs> it's back here. I guess. <laughs> Can we say Blair Witch? <laughs> I don't know. I've never been here. What in the hell? Safe. <laughs> Going over the highway. 35. This is a little suburb here. <laughs> Where? that it's all the way up in the hill the house on the hill slow down yeah we can go we could probably make it for the 230 yep This is nice up in here, really. Yep, this is uh, Adina Mansion in Chillicothe, Ohio. Um, it's supposed to be haunted. Um, we don't know if they allow um, ghost investigations here or paranormal investigations, but I don't know if I'll ask them or not. But we're going to take the tour and see if we're allowed to some big drop-offs. <laughs> Shoot the tour and we're going to see what we can learn. So, you, Christy, um, what's it like to be going up the driveway of your great, 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 great grandfather's, you know, property? Oh, look at this. Seriously. I guess you turn left. That's the mansion right there. Okay, well, maybe you turn left to park. I think that's the mansion. 
looks like it. Yep, looks like it. Wow. Nice yard. Probably a parking lot down here. Faster than this. I wonder if this is where you go in and uh, buy tickets to the tour. within the face step and we're at a Dina Mansion checking it out taking a tour having some fun it's beautiful out today um, might be able to find out if this is actually Christie's uh, distant grandfather like great 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 or something <laughs> something like that but yeah check this out wow which was a very short period of time after he was the one instrumental in the uh, creation of the state of Ohio. Of course, that was in 1803. And after that, he went to D.C. Mr. Um, Mr. Latrobe designed the house. Worthington came home with the plans in 1805. They started building in 1806, and in 1807, they moved into the house. It went that quickly because the Berea sandstone that the house is built from was already cut out and it came from a quarry someplace here on the So side. we will be going in through the coffin door. Back then they didn't have funeral homes. So when somebody passed on they were laid out in the front hall. And this was the only door wide enough to accommodate a coffin and the folks to carry it in and out. This is 48 inches wide, 12 inches wider than any of the other doors in the house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, thanks. Did you hear about Oh yeah, yeah. Am I missing somebody's ticket? No, no, maybe yes. <laughs> All right, thank you much. Come on in. Oh yeah, the walls, um, the outside walls, and also the, uh, the bearing walls in the house are 22 inches wide. That's a bearing wall, and that's a bearing wall. Of course, the outside walls, that's uh, South Edmonton. Um, Worthington eventually became the sixth governor of Ohio. He had two terms between 1114 and 1818. Back then, gubernatorial terms were two years. I will not be showing the entire video Christie filmed of the Adena Mansion. It was an hour long and contained a lot of info about the mansion and Thomas Worthington's history. You can view the pictures we took on Interface Death's Facebook page. You can look up the info about the Adena Mansion on their website, 
or take the tour yourself if you want to learn more. Since the mansion is confirmed not to be haunted, we will skip ahead to the next segment of this film. Hi, um, we're at the uh, Hamilton Inn, right Christy? Hampton Inn. Hampton. And Suites. Hampton Inn and Suites. And uh, so far we've been at the Adina Mansion and that was wonderful. That was a great piece of history. It was a great house, great property. We're really glad that we got to go over there and do that. Um, right now, before it gets dark, we're going to go check out the places we're going to go tonight and investigate um, so we, know, we can get there easily when it gets dark out. Um, we'll do a little bit of shooting so everybody can see it in the daytime so they can maybe that will help them find it if they want to come down and check it out. Um, I don't know what to expect for tonight, but we're just going to keep optimistic and hope for the best and hopefully we can get some cool stuff for you guys to see and hopefully we run into some cool stuff. So, should be interesting. Um, we'll, we'll head to rip now. Go straight, it's Egypt Pike. Yeah. Sweet. Now, take this. Union Road, Union Lane is going to be on the right, on down the here. Yep. Cruising in. There is always a daycare center, either a prison or a jail. <laughs> yeah, that'll make any sense. Oh, let's take our kids to the daycare next to the prison. It's got to be safe. I'm gonna wanna turn left down here, I'm pretty sure. I'm trying to see now, just to make sure I'm. You have arrived. 233. Lane. Pretty sure you have to turn left, but I'm not that sure. Turn left. This may be it, Christy. Pretty sure this is going to be it. It's going to be down on the left at the end. <coughs> You're right in the bumps. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> Look at that tree back there. Should I go on? I don't know. Should I turn around right here? I don't know. I don't want to turn around right here. Destination on the right then. Point four miles south Walnut Street. Heading to Grandview Cemetery. Supposed to see some mists and shadows. Tip and tower. Turn right. Right here? Turn right. You said all the way the fuck down there. No. Okay, keep going. It's going to be up here on the left.
see this sign t straight to the left. Grandview Cemetery. It's kind of hidden. It's not very obvious. Does it look haunted? It's nice like I thought it was going to be. Big monument up there. That's it right there. That's awesome, actually. What an awesome place to be buried. All this here is just the memorial for the men of Ross County. Cool. Yeah. We have found Grandview Cemetery and walked around for a bit and checked out some tombstones belonging to Christie's family. I wanted to investigate down by the large vaults by the memorial, but when we came back later, there were people sitting near there, so we prepared to go on another side of the cemetery instead. And we're trying to find Crybaby Tunnel now. Do you? How do you know? that we're going to come right back here in a couple hours. <laughs> Prepare to exit on the right on US 50 Athens. Oh yeah. This is the way it looked like on Google. Approaching left turn it's going to be on over there. Schrader Road. Where? Turn left. Trader Road. Where's it at from here? Turn left. Cross. Cross and keep going. Approaching destination of. Okay, it's going to wrap around and it's going to be right up here. Okay, as soon as we go start veering to the right, that's where it's going to be. That's nice. We're just going to go by and check it out, see if the places where we can pull off or, you know. What's that there? Is that a trail or a pull off right there? Yeah. You can pull off there. There it is. Oh my God. Here it is. Are you fucking serious? Yes, this is awesome. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely coming You're here. You're fucking nuts. Um, why? See, if you go through here at midnight with your windows down, you're supposed to hear the baby cry. Oh, yeah. What it's the on, fuck? It's on like What's donkeys. What's that shit? <laughs> you That's gotta go on the pull-off. Yeah. That's the way it looked on the internet. 
slow down real slow. Man, it's too dark. There we go. Slow down. It's not focusing. That's nice. Pretty creepy. A lot of graffiti on the walls. Behind you. Well, there you have it, Crybaby Tunnel, Ross County. Are you rolling? Yeah. Hey, we're down here at Grandview Cemetery, and um. We're going to do a quick EVP session. You know the date, Christy. 26th. July 26th, Grandview Cemetery. There's been reports of mists, shadows. It's a typical cemetery stuff. And, uh, if there's anybody here that wants to say anything, go ahead and say it. My name's Justin, what's your name? This is Christy over here. We're from Hillsboro. Just come down here to talk to somebody. Do you like it here? Oh, <laughs> What's your name? When were you born? Is there anything that you want to say? Can you see us here? You can send us a message if you use this device. We can listen to it later. Definitely nice out here. Be a nice place to rest your body. I'm going to shut the recorder off here in a minute. I'd like to talk to you. I'd like to know, tell me something about you. seeing any mist. Mm -hmm. I'm shut the recorder off. Do you have anything to say? Thank you. Anybody here want to talk to us? No, why not? Is that a fuck you? I don't know. <laughs> What's your name? We found no audio or ghost box evidence of the paranormal at Grandview Cemetery. However, 
We captured a few orbs on some of the still shots on the site. Are these spirit orbs, or are they water droplets in the air reflecting light from the camera flash? You be the judge. Union Lane. Oh yeah, baby. Here we are. Union Lane. Heading to Union Cemetery. Jesus Christ, it's like an earthquake. <laughs> Christy's definitely going to help me. She promised a blood oath on our quest for spirit communication. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's a blood oath. I like it how it's so spooky to go back here. Oh, shut up. <laughs> You're such a scaredy cat. I can't believe how scared you are. You grew up in the goddamn woods. You act like a city city girl. Yeah, you did. You fucking hillbilly. Got some people letting off some fireworks. It's like the 4th of July out here, out the Union Cemetery. Pretty spooky place. This place has been vandalized pretty bad. Although nothing was found on video at the Union Cemetery, I did capture a very strange piece of audio at a small group of headstones with weeds surrounding it. I will provide a daytime picture of this area, but listen carefully and you will hear a bizarre voice, what I think is saying Christy, followed by a buzzing sound and an unexplainable sound carrying on in the background as it slowly fades. This is all we got at the Union Cemetery. Sorry. The fuck was that?
Anybody here? No. Here, say your name. Elizabeth, are you here? Is there anybody still here in the cemetery? What's your name? What do you think your kids just come out here and made a wreck of the place and disrespect it? How many spirits are out here? Seven. What's your name? Do you have a message that you'd like to get across? Can you see me? What's the name of the cemetery? Elizabeth here. Elizabeth buried at. I have ran out of disk space for video, so I have to present the Schrader Tunnel segment with audio only. As we emerge from Union Cemetery, we head over to Schrader Road for our last investigation of the night. It is approaching midnight quickly, and if we are to find out if the legend of Crybaby Tunnel is true, we must be there before midnight comes. Uh, we're here at the... Uh Trader Tunnel. Anybody here you want to talk to me? Oh, 
Oh, it sounds cool in here. Anybody killed here? Anybody here want to say anything? Did you say go away? What's your name? Nice to meet you. Can you, can you see me? My name is Justin. Just come here to talk to anybody who wants to talk. They, they call this crybaby tunnel. Did a baby die here? Hello? Is anybody here with me right now? What was the baby's name? Anybody out there want to say anything? Anybody down on this end? Anybody out there? What's your name? Timmy, huh? That's cool. Anybody there? Did a woman die here too? What's your name? Anybody out there? How'd you die?
Did you kill yourself? Last chance, what's your name? Nice to meet you. Do you like it here? When I go in this tunnel, it really dampens down the signal. You guys like it here? What's the afterlife like? Hearing noises. Well, we had our little night out, didn't we? Um, it was kind of frustrating doing everything by myself. It was hard to investigate that way and to concentrate on what I was doing. So I didn't get to concentrate on what I was doing at all. So the, the amount of time and the way I did it was compromised by that. But I think I got a few things. Um, I didn't really go over the Grandview Cemetery audio and footage very well. I looked at some pictures and I definitely got some orbs, but it's going to take fur further analysis to determine whether the orbs are water... Um, moisture or if they're paranormal. Um, Union Cemetery, Christy was too terrified to get out so I had to do everything myself and not much on video. Um, audio, there's definitely one thing that jumps out that I definitely want to look at. Um, something startled me by like a grave with a lot of weeds around it and uh, I got it on the audio and um, I don't know what it is, but it sounds like someone sang the name Christy. When I heard it, it sounded like a buzzing noise and uh, loud. It was weird. It didn't sound anything like I got on the recorder. Um, I got some orbs out there too. Um, I didn't look. I can't look at the uh, pictures very well on the the display screen on my camera that I got because it's so small. So. When I blow that up and look at it, a high resolution would be a lot better. Um, I didn't get a chance to go into the graveyard and explore. Uh, maybe Christy can help me today. She said she would go out there in daylight and kind of look around. We'll shoot some footage out there and uh, see if we can um, find Elizabeth's grave and kind of get a sense of the layout of the whole place. Um, Crybaby Tunnel was definitely cool. Um, got some EVPs, ghost box stuff. Um, it was interesting. Um, we do got the sounds of a child. And uh, that's what I wanted to get. So um, I'll have that for you guys. And we'll look definitely look into that as legitimate paranormal uh, evidence of what the legend claims. Um, there's definitely some unsettled spirits out there. But it didn't seem scary. Even though Christy was terrified out of her mind, um, I wasn't. I was numb to it. Um, I've pretty much been immersed in the spooky and the crazy all my life. And it's normal to me. It's just like breathing air, walking, all that. So I put myself right in it, and I did it in Ross County, and it was worth it. Um, we're going to 
visit a few other sites. We're going to do uh, Mound City. Hopefully, the rain doesn't get worse or prolong as, more than it has because it was beautiful yesterday and shooting yesterday out and out in the sun was nice. So hopefully, the sun kind of peaks out today, but I doubt it. Um, yeah, and the majestic. So that's going to be worth checking out. Um, let's head over there, Christy, and check it out.